Hey guys, um, glad to have you back um, and thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, the numbers of subscribers climbed quite a bit in the last few weeks, uh, so uh, special welcome to the new viewers um, of my review um, YouTube show. I don't know if it's one, you decide. Uh, I will talk today about um, a graphic novel that I uh, read last year. Um, and that I loved. I totally loved it. I think it's a game changer. It's something which comes out every now and then. Uh, it's a masterpiece. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's a lot of great big words for one piece of comic, uh, which is firstly no superhero, uh, no genre, and not even a known or very renowned uh, creator. Um, so yeah, what is it? It's Here by Richard McGuire. Um, Richard McGuire comes out of this whole Art Spiegelman, Raw, um, I would say like art comic scene um, from the Eastern Coast, I believe. Um, and he based his book here um, on a strip he once did. And, um, uh, you will you will see what I'm talking about when I show you some of the of the compositions because it's a very very special way to treat time in comics which I haven't ever seen before. So I will show you. Uh, I will look for one piece which is easy to gasp. Okay, look at this. So in one composition, you have three different eras times. Uh, so it's the same place, it's the same here, um, but it's different whens. Uh, and this is quite special to comics. You can, you basically can't do it in any other medium. And every time, I mean, I get goosebumps while saying it, because every time I, I, I say or think something like that, it becomes obvious to me that comics the comics medium is such a super super special thing to work with and a lot of people don't don't really use it and they treat it um either like an illustration board or storyboard for a movie or uh they got they get way too wordy on it and think it's all about the story but it's really about using this medium and Richard does this um, really fantastically. It's okay for this for the kind of guys who are interested in the build. I have to admit I am. It's a very good build book. Uh, it's um, it's not super expensive. I think it's twenty five dollars or thirty. Um, but it's hardcover. When you take the sleeve off, it's still the same cover. So no surprise there. Um, the printing is great. It's zoom binding, um, uh, so it lies really nicely. And it's cool because you should be able to enjoy the art. And it's printed on matte paper, which I, you know, I love. Um, and it's it's just very special. It's I don't know how to describe the artwork. It's probably something in between illustration, and it also has a bit of, um, you know the the whole the, the the kind of software uh, through which you can plan interior design things or or architecture so it's super precise um, it's a bit lifeless in a way uh, but I think it's a great contrast to this very very intimate moments which are shown here so um, back to what's what the core is of this book um, it's called here and it's about one little place in a house. Um, it's a, basically a corner of the living room, which is shown throughout the book. So all those pages here, I flip through them. Um, you know, it's always the same place through time. And he starts like, uh, I don't know, the first thing is like, uh, 10,000 or 1 million years before our times with dinosaurs and it ends in the future uh, but of course the main focus 
is um, our present or the last 100 years or so. So we get to, to know some characters who live there uh, in little vignettes, in just little scenes out of their lives. It's like, you know, family life, it's everyday life. Um, and through this jumping through time, you get to, um, you get back to some specific situations. So you read in one tableau that someone is sick or whatever and uh, then later on you read that he's dead and they're mourning him and you uh, it's hard to explain what it why it touched me so much uh, I think the, the 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 main thing is like it's distant uh, at the same time um, and it's intimate too um, so you get this voyeuristic view into people's lives um, but you also have this overarching philosophical um, meta point of view uh, which lets you um, jangle with the whole concept and make up your own um, mind about this and about time in general you get to uh, acknowledge that your 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 time is very brief and the, the, the stuff that you inherit, like the comics or whatever, the place where you live, it's not gonna be like that forever. It's just for a little short amount of time where you're here and you're using it or you, you, you're reading it. But even this book, it will land, I don't know, in 50 years time, I hope, uh, it will land on some trash bin and nobody will care about or it will be my son or his son who will use it it won't be mine anymore so this whole um you know um concept of um being here right now uh, and the passing of time and everything every every philosophical concept that that uh, comes with it um it is here um, like a spark you can take it and make it into your own and think about it and um, I urge you to to give it a shot even if you're normally not into this kind of more like you know philosophical arty kind of um, comics because I think it's it's interesting for everyone even for people who just read superheroes you should at least give it a try um, it's here by Richard McGuire. Um, I don't know the exact price, but I think it's around 25 or $30. It's a hardcover book and um, strong recommendations from me. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, you can comment um, in the comment fields. Um, you can subscribe here uh, where the link is. And I will be back next week with single issue reviews. Um, and also, I think 10 days from now with a new haul for this month. So uh, subscribe here, stay tuned, have a good life and see you next time. Bye bye.